What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be talking about the Battle Pass, and not only the Battle Pass, but we're also going to be going through all the weapons that are in the Battle Pass, because there is going to be a part where you um, can choose a 5-star, well, five star, a 4-star weapon in the Battle Pass as well, on top of going over the packs or whatever, that's also super worth. A lot of people have been asking about this over the course of, you know, however many days. There's one dude, he's commented, like, on four different videos, the same thing. So, for whoever that guy is, this is for you, bro. I'll just, hey, you know what I'm saying? I got you. So, we're going to be going over everything. So, starting out, just before we get into the battle pass, um, Blessing of the Woken Moon is the best thing you can get. It costs $5, and you will be getting... 3,000 Primo Gems, because it's 2,700 Primos, 300 Genesis Crystals. The, the ratio is 1 to 1, so it's 3,000 Primo Gems, long story short. Uh, if you want to see how much that costs, for uh, 3,000 is about 50, a little under $50, right? So for $5, you're getting a $50 cost. All you got to do is wait 30 days. Like, if you don't want to wait 30 days, I mean, I don't know. But, I mean, literally, all you got to do is wait 30 days, and you get... 3000 that's a, about $40, $45 cost for $5, super worth, right? So if you're like a light spender, $5, amazing. Now, now that we've talked about that, the battle pass, which is right here, the battle pass. So you have the free battle pass on the top, and then you have the paid battle pass on the bottom. The paid battle pass costs $10. This is the thing, right? The, this left one. The right one is like pay to win type stuff, right, you just gotta get the left one, right, um, but anyways, it costs $10, so like I said, if you're a light spender, all you, for, so basically $15 a month, give or take, because this is gonna be here for what, like 45 days, right, this has like 36 days, um, and the game's been out for like four plus days, so like 42 days, something like that, so it's like, the battle pass is like a month in a week, or like five or six weeks, basically, and then the Welkin Moon is one month, so basically, for $15 a month, give or take, uh, as far as days, you are getting so much value out of like out of that. So if you're like a light spender, just spend the $15 and ch you're chilling, right? Which $15 ain't that much as far as light spending, so you should be good. Now, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to buy the battle pass. You can just buy the Woken Moon. You'll be chilling at the, with you know for that. But anyway, so we're gonna go over go over, there, over everything. This is the XP, character XP. Then you get the weapon um, enhancement stones. You get some Mora character XP. Then you get the um, enhancement stones again. And then right here, this is used to upgrade talents for characters. Now, um, if you guys don't know what you know the character talents I'm talking about, when you go to talents, you're able to level up these these these. Now, when you level them up, obviously they increase the stats. So you know we're looking at Beto right now. This is her auto attack. And you can actually see the percents right here. 82% on the first hit, 82 on the second, 100 on the third, 100 on the fourth, 130 on the fifth. Well, when you level it up, all those percents get a big jump. 8% increase, 8% increase, 10% increase, 10% increase, 13% increase. That's a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? But... That's, that's what these are. So what you want to do whenever you're picking those, you want to go to your main character and see which one they need. Beto needs um, the guide to gold, right? So if you need Beto, then there you go. Say you're using Chi-Chi, you click on Chi-Chi's and you go to level up. Chi-Chi needs guide to prosperity or whatever. So um, make sure you guys look at which one you need before you pick it. So starting out, like I said, level five, this is freedom, resistance, ballad. So, um, I know Venti is ballad. I forgot who's resistance, but, you know, pick whoever you need. Then go to here. This one has prosperity and gold. I value Beto as my main character over Chi-Chi. So, I'm not going to get prosperity. I'm going to get gold. Uh, and then that's, you know, there it is. So, anyways, you get Mora, XP, Enhancement Stone, Mora. You get one Acquaint Fate, one Intertwine Fate. And then you have more, you know, that you can do here, which... You know, there it is. Then you get XP, Enhancement Stone, Mora, XP, Enhancement Stone. You get more that you can get here. Um, Mora, XP, Enhancement Stone, Mora. Acquaint Fate, Intertwine Fate. You get another one that you can get here. And this gives you like five. It doesn't give you one. It gives you like five. Um, XP, 
um, enhancement stone Mora XP enhancement stone. You get more of these, which they all they're chain they they like they rotate. So this is freedom resistance ballad. This one will always be prosperity diligence gold, and they just rotate back and forth. And then like, but once you get up here, you're getting a lot of money. Like, if you guys don't, I don't know if you guys have played this game, but Mora in this game goes by quick. So the fact that they're giving us this much is really really nice. They give you 48,000 on the free one, but on this one, this is 144,000, which is really good. And you're getting the, the the highest character XP papers as well, which is super good. And that just keeps going. Same thing here. Uh, you'll keep going as well. Keep going. Intertwined Fates. Uh, Quaint Fate. Keep going. Keep going. Intertwined Fate. Acquaint Fate. Uh, keep going. Keep going. And then you get here. It's the same thing here. Now, once you reach level 50... You get an acquaint fate, and then you get 680 uh, primo gems. Now, the reason why this is so worth is because of all of this stuff you get on the bottom together is so much. Not to mention, when you reach level 30, you're able to pick a four-star weapon. Now, we're going we're gonna go ahead and go over the four-star weapons. So, uh, number one, you have Black Sword. Uh, increases damage dealt by normal and charged attacks by 20%. Additionally, regenerate 60% of attack as HP when normal and charged attacks score a crit hit. This effect can occur once every 5 seconds. Uh, and it gives you crit rate and base attack. This single hand sword or one hand sword weapon is really, really good. It increases your normal and charged attacks by 20%, gives you crit rate, and you're getting life steal when you crit. Super, super nice. Um, going on to the second one, the two handed sword, crit rate base stat. Every four seconds of characters on the field, they will deal 3% more damage and take 3% more damage. This effect can stack five times. Will not be reset if the character leaves the field, but will be reduced by one stack when the character takes damage. Um, this is this one is a good one. This is a good weapon, but this is definitely not better than some of the other weapons. Right? Um, not to mention, if you're taking a lot of damage, you're going to have no stacks. and only stacks five times. It's all debatable on that. So it's like, as far as this one, it's a good weapon. If you really need a four-star weapon, you can get it. But so far, this is the best one. Moving on to the next one, crit rate, base stat. I'm just going to tell you up front, this weapon is not good. Having crit rate on a mage is just not the move, right? Imagine having crit rate on Mora uh, or Mona. What? On Mona. Mona, Lisa, you, eh, you're not going to be running crit rate on them. Um... Solar Shine. Normal attack hits increase elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 20% for 6 seconds. Likewise, elemental skill or elemental burst hits increase normal attack damage by 20% for 6 seconds. Now, don't get me wrong. The passive is actually really good. But that crit rate is like, eh, you know. Um, you could obviously get, the, get this just for the passive if you wanted to. But generally, mages want to have like base attack with elemental mastery. Uh, so that that's that's like and then it's like it'd be different if you can get all five, but you can't you only get one of them. So um, You know these two are just not better than the single-handed sword not to mention single-handed sword goes on units like Kaching, the the um, MC Chi Chi there's a lot of characters that can use this and utilize this as far as that a lot of free-to-play players like if you're a light spender like you don't spend that much money and you're probably, you're probably going to be investing in the MC. This is a really good weapon for the MC. Gives him some sustainability. Gives him um, more damage. Really, really nice. Moving on to the bow. Crit rate based stat. You know, they all have that. Verdant Wind. Upon hit, normal and aim shot attacks have a 50% chance to generate a cyclone, which will continuously attract surrounding enemies, dealing 40% of attack as damage to these enemies every 0.5 seconds for 4 seconds. This effect can only occur once every 14 seconds. This bow is actually pretty nice. It's a pretty good bow. Um, the Cyclone, I'm not sure if the Cyclone is physical damage or if it's going to be wind damage or what they want to do with it. But pretty nice bow. Uh, moving on to the spear. Crit rate, then attack, obviously. Gladiator. If there are at least two enemies nearby, attack is increased by 16% and defense is increased by 16%. If there are less than two enemies, or if there's only one enemy, basically, attack is increased by 24%. This spear is amazing. I'm going to tell you up front, the sword 
the sword and the spear are the best two. Now, obviously, if you need a bow, like if you, you are in dire need, you can get a bow. If you're in dire need, you can get a two-handed weapon. But the weapon and the bow are the best two. Now, this just go boils down to who you use. Like if Zhang Ling is your favorite character and you love her and this, you know, and that's your best character, obviously you can go for the for the staff or the polearm. Um, you know, if you're using a single-handed sword character or Jean's your favorite character or whatever, you can go for this. Um, these are what they all do. I, I recommend going for the sword or the polearm, honestly. Those two seem to be the best ones. I don't even have a single sword user, but I'm going to be getting, I'm probably going to be getting this one right here. So, um, as far as that, that's what it is. But anyways, that is pretty much it as far as the battle pass and everything you need to know. Obviously, if you click right here, it'll have missions for you that you can do to, uh, get more XP to further your progress as far as that goes so there you go but yeah that is the battle pass super super worth in my opinion it's ten dollars you get a lot of resources you get a lot of stuff out of it do what you want i'm not your parent anyways that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys think uh, in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace